Gibson Repair and Restoration has been around since the early 1990s. We handle everything from simple setup work to full-on restoration of high-dollar vintage guitars and everything in between. I've been with Gibson since 1998, and so going up on 23 years now. So let me show you around the repair and restoration shop. This is our technician area. We have nine full-time repair techs, and they handle everything from setups all the way up to full restorations. One of our technicians, Stefan, here has a 1952 J45. This guitar has had three different bridges on it. So we're trying to make the best of a bad situation, get it playable again. It could be something as simple as freshening your strings and adjusting your neck on a new guitar to a full-on restoration of an acoustic guitar with a crushed in top. Whatever it is, our team can help decide what's best for you and your instrument. So here on Dryan's bench, we've got a vintage L5 that is in for planing refret. Uh, we are replacing the frets. They've just been worn out over time. And while it's here, we're also doing a couple of extra things that it needed to, again, help maintain that structural integrity. The binding has started to separate here some in the F holes. And then also it has some top cracks here. And as you notice, we're trying to keep the repair as minimal as possible to keep that originality there and not do a huge finish touch up or burst in or anything in this area here where we've done the repairs. So again, we want to try to keep things as original as possible while getting them structurally sound. We do like to make sure that it's in a good environment, so sometimes that takes time. Years of neglect can often require us letting something sit around here in the shop for a couple months while it reacclimates to having the proper humidity and being exposed to the right temperature. Because we want to make sure that when we repair it, that it's done with the wood in the type of condition that it needs to be in. We use the correct processes and materials when we restore your instrument. It could be a vintage acoustic guitar that needs neck reset. We'll use hot hide glue to reset that neck and we'll use true nitrocellulose lacquer to refinish that neck and the repair area. You can rest assured if it's a vintage guitar, it will look like a vintage guitar when we're done with it. And if it's a new guitar, it will look like a new guitar when we're done with it. We have a SJ200 standard. Um, it came in with some humidity issues. So after humidifying it, we realized that there were some issues going on in the board. So we pulled out all the frets and I've leveled the board. It was starting to develop a hump. So we leveled it out. It's perfectly flat from here to here with a little bit of fall away. And then I'm gonna start put, uh, dressing the frets and putting the frets in. And this is gonna take me probably about a day and a half to two days. Cause you've got to make sure every piece of the fret tang when we file it off for the binding is perfectly smooth and level and there's a lot of detail and a lot of close work that we do for everything. This is actually sent in by a client, Miss Betty Jo White, and this belonged to her husband's grandfather. And she actually sent us a picture of him. And this is him right here. His name is Thomas Nasi. He was a orchestra conductor. In addition to that, he was also a music teacher. He was an Albanian American. He was really well known in the early part of the 1900s. And this is actually an instrument that he owned. We will see instruments like that that have a cool history, that have actual documentation along with it. We work on many types of instruments, from electric and acoustic guitars, to banjos, basses, and mandolins. Because we have such great relationships with many of our clients and artists, we even work on many other brands. They feel so compelled for us to do the work, we'll work on all makes of instruments. Being that we mostly deal with a lot of touch-ups and things like that and not a whole lot of complete refinishes, we don't need just a huge booth like they have in production. So this small booth does well for us. We have here a lot of cup guns with some common colors that we use. What we really live for and where our passion is, is to restore guitars and to bring them back to life and make them play the best they can. All these guys are cut from the same cloth as me. And that's why I love coming over here. Anytime I have the opportunity to stop by, I can't help but see what they're working on and, you know, walk up to the bench and say, hey, what's this? You know, oh, I remember one of those, or maybe I never saw one of those. And we all get excited and we all have that same passion. Early on, I realized that my place in the whole music scene was not up on stage somewhere. It's actually getting the guitar in good enough shape and playing well enough for that person who has dedicated their life to making music 
they can go out and do their job. All nine of the technicians here are passionate about repairs. We are very particular when we're hiring people. We want to get people who have a certain skill set and who actually care about what they're doing. As a collective, there's probably about 100 years of experience working here at Gibson. So a lot of the guys know the way we've been doing it for the last 20, 30 years and is showing us newer guys the same way. So every person that does a guitar here, you know it's going to be the Gibson way. We're doing a service for somebody that they will appreciate. And you know, when this guitar is playing again, he's going to play it. His kids may play it. It's been around a long time and I want to make sure it's going to be around a lot lot longer. It's important to work somewhere where everyone's constantly pushing you to be a better tech, better tech. Um, the one day the one guy told me I needed to move something 0 .001 thousandth of an inch. That's a very small detail to move, um, but it's the little details like that that helps us get better and give better quality to the customer. At the end of the day it's all about passion and we all have that here and we love helping vintage guitars come back to life and have many more years of playability.